Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem right away. Okay, you're welcome to Fuco Mathematics. We have square root of x over the cube root of x to be equal to 2x, right? Now, this is very simple because square root of x is x to the power of 1 over 2 over over x to the power of 1 over 3 equal to 2x. Now, what do we do? According to the law of indices, since we're having the same base, you can pick 3 and subtract the power because we are dividing. So it's going to be 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. And this is now um, equal to 2x. Now, what do I do? I'll have x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 will give us 1 over 6, which will be equal to 2x. And then, the next thing on my mind is how to remove the power. So, I multiply the power by 6, and the whole of this will be raised to the power of 6. Now, this and this will cancel and x will be equal to 2x to the power of 6. Now, and this means that 2 and x are both raised to the power of 2. So x will be 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by x to the power of 6. And at the end of the day, x will be equal to 64x to the power of 6 because 2 to the power of 6 is 64. And I want to turn it this way so that I have 64x to the power of 6 equal to x. Now, we can bring everything to the left. So we have 64x to the power of 6 minus x equals 0. Now, we can factor out x because it's common to both of them. So if x comes out, in here, I will have 64x to the power of 5 minus here, x has already gone out, so I'll have 1 over there, and this is equal to 0. From here, this means that x is equal to 0, or 64x to the power of 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, let's continue from here. Okay, so this is what we have. From here now, x remains 0 or 64x to the power of 5 is equal to 1. Now, x remains 0 here or 64. Okay, x to the power of 5 over 64 is equal to 1 over 64. So what I'm doing there is to divide both sides by 64, right? So x remains 0, or this can now cancel this. x to the power of 5 will be equal to 1 over 64. And now the next thing to be done is to... Okay, let's continue. x is equal to 0, right? Or... I will have to transfer this to the other side so that um, to do that I'll have x to the power of 5 raised to the power of 1 over 5. And now I will now have 1 over 64 still raised to the power of 1 over 5. This way, this 5 and this will cancel each other. So x remains 0. Or, on this side, x will be equal to 1 over 64, both to the power of 1 over 5. So, let's bring the solutions together. x is equal to 0, or 1 over 64, to the power of 1 over 5. But then, are we correct? Let's go back to the formula, and then we'll pro um, solve it again and check we have square root of x over cube root of x to be equal to 2x 
Now, I'm going to work on the left-hand side where I have square root of x over k root of x. Remember, our x is now 1 over 64. Okay, if you put 0 here, automatically you will be correct, right? But then, let's put 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5. That means we're going to have square root of 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5 over the cube root of 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5. This is what we have. Now, let's continue to this side. This means that we are having 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5 multiply by, because of this square root, I'm going to have 1 over 2 there. This is for the numerator. For the denominator, I'm going to have 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5. Remember, the denominator is um, under a cube root sign. So that means I'm multiplying the power by 1 over 3 because of the cube root. Now, see what I want to do now. I can multiply the powers, right? So I have 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 10. And under it, I have 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 15. Now let's go here. Now remember what the law says in indices that if the bases are the same, you can work with the powers. So if I want to work with the power now, if I want to pick one of the bases now, it will be 1 over 64, right? And I want to work with the powers as I take their difference. 1 um, over 10 minus 1 over 15. Okay, so that means I'm going to have 1 over 64. Okay, so the power of the LCM of this is 30. Now, 30 divided by 10 is 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 30 by 15 is 2 times 1 is 2. And at the end of the day, we're going to have 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 30. But then, I want to reduce this to a lower term. We are still dealing with the left-hand side. And this will be giving us some... Um, 1 over 64 here is the same as 2 to the power of negative 6. Yes. Then this is to the power of 1 over 30. Then three will go, um, 6 will go there one time. 6 will go here five times. That means at the end of the day, we are going to have 2 to the power of negative 1 over 5. So this is what we got on the left hand side. But on the right hand side, remember we got 2x on the right hand side. Now this 2x will now be 2 multiplied by x is 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5. Now the question is, will this give us 2 to the power of negative 1 over 5? Now let's keep working. From here, 2 to the power, okay, 1 over 64 here. Is the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 6. Like I said before, to the power of 1 over 5. Now, multiply this together first. If you multiply the power here, then you have to, okay, multiply by 2 to the power of negative 6 over 5. Yes, if you open this bracket. But then this 2 here can be over, um, to the power of 1. Now, pick one of the bases, which is 2, and add the powers. And that will give us 1 minus 6 over 5 as the power. Now, if we continue with this, we have 2. The LCM is going to be 5. Then 5 divided by whatever that is there is 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 5 by 5 is 1 times 6 is 6. And at the end of the day, we will have 2 to the power of negative 5 minus 6 is negative 1, and that will be over 5. And trust me, that is what we got on the left-hand side. 
Remember, on the left hand side, we got 2 to the power of negative 1 over 5. And on the right hand side, we are having 2 to the power of negative 1 over 5. So this means that our x to be equal to 1 over 64 to the power of 1 over 5 is very correct. This is very correct. And I hope that you have learned something new. Thank you.